everybody so just finished doing a katana zero short stream on that um so as i said at the end of that if anyone was watching we we're gonna jump into sekiro uh i finished the first playthrough of the game a couple of days ago wednesday i think maybe thursday uh and realized that i'm pretty close to getting the platinum trophy for it so i'm just gonna push ahead and try to do that so that's what we're gonna do um, do bear in mind that this is a new game plus, so I will have items and abilities and such, uh, and I don't know if the game world changes to reflect that or anything like that. So there may be spoilers, just sort of something to keep in mind. Uh, anyone who watched the previous Sekiro stream, which was starting from the start, we're pretty much going back through that area, only on New Game Plus now. So I have, or I should, I should be better at the game now, I guess. Okay. So I'm actually gonna raise the game audio up a bit because it's a bit low for me so do let me know if that's an issue I should be fine alright so start playthrough number two here we go I'm gonna press the button press the button hang on is it in the camera can press the button oh you'll be <laughs> unable to return to the current playthrough number one after starting playthrough number two No, I can't. I literally cannot get any of the missing trophies in playthrough one now. I'm locked out of them. So I have to replay the game. Hmm. Got a good loading screen. Blech. Loading screen to start the stream off. Good stuff. Maybe I should have planned ahead. Good at that planning ahead. Ishinokunitori So I don't have any of my stuff, but I do have I do have that big ass health bar, so that's good. And I don't have the diving ability. So I have to get that back. Don't have any of my prosthetics. There was an item that popped up there. What was it? It's all my items that I'm not allowed to use. Kuro's charm. So this is new. I got this for New Game Plus. 
placed on the wolf's person in secret after he lost his life in Harada estate and gained the power of resurrection. The charm has protected the wolf well, tempering his ordeals. To part with it would mean facing a path of hardship beyond that endured thus far. So this is a buff, I guess. So yeah, uh, this is basically the tutorial area again. Uh, we don't have any weapons or anything like that, so we're uh, not going to be equipped to deal with it. So, first thing I'm going to change is I'm actually going to change the dialogue that I can't do. <laughs> Maybe it's in game options. Hmm. That must be something you can change mid game. Oh well, next time I guess. Because I haven't heard the English dub of this. I played the first playthrough was in Japanese. Mm. よく来てくれた。久しいな、狼よ。サビマル。そなたの刀だ。我が忍びよ。主従の役場に従い。命を
Keeping that, I'm streaming. I don't want to make it any more difficult than it has to be. So, Kuro gives you sword, obviously, but he also gives you the the healing flask. But since I already have it, he can't give it to me again. That's that flask in the bottom right that you can see. may have to move the camera for Sekiro because I think he might be unable to see some stuff. A chance in your game plus to you. Lol. So there are a couple of extra things in that uh, there are certain skills that I've picked up that make me harder to detect. That's what you're seeing there. That's why I'm able to just walk around the side of them and still hit them. And there's this one that creates a smog cloud so they can't see me. <laughs> All right, press, <laughs> pressed my luck a bit too much there. Also have another skill that I get health back when I kill guys, so new game plus will probably be straightforward, hopefully. I think only the bosses and the mini bosses will really be a problem. Come on Shiganori, what else you got? <laughs> oh, I feel bad for you. I really do. Uh, I don't get any good shit off beating them anymore, though. I got a pellet. Suck. See this guy? Can you see him under the bridge? I have a feeling he's responsible for the deaths of many, many players. Rather than have a fair fight with this weird pot ninja thing, we're uh, we're gonna be sneaky and be jerks. Yeah. 
See ya. You don't get his his item though, so that kinda sucks. Although rather enemies don't drop items at this stage of the game. I forgot about that. They don't start dropping items until the game starts proper. We're out of tutorial mode. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's all the items you can get in the tutorial. We can't commune with this dude yet. So if you're watching this stream, uh, I'm kind of kind of assume you're okay with spoilers. Um, so uh, if you don't want me to spoil upcoming things, I guess watch a different stream. But um, there's a boss coming up now who you're supposed to get beaten by. Uh, and obviously when I fought him, I got beaten. It's on stream. You can go look at it yourselves. You'll see it. Uh, I'm gonna try and beat him, but I'm not 100% sure it's actually even doable, but we'll find out. No, I've got a decent health bar and I've got a good few heals. What I don't have is uh, resurrection, so I don't, like, if I die, I die. So I do have to be a bit careful on the health bar. See how it goes. <laughs> おじゅうへのご前以来。ゲイチロとの。私は。すまねえ。お任せよ。Oh, it's a grab, shit. I got one on him. I got one on you. Whoa. I don't know what that is. I'm leaving it alone. Whoa. Oof. He's got some new stuff in his second round anyway. Getting his bow out. Not 
Ready for it that time. Shit. <laughs> Back that ass up. Yes! <laughs> I beat his ass! <laughs> Never seen this cutscene. That's great. Ah, dick! I still get a cut off. Shinobi, o hikyo to wa yu mai. Alright, so the cutscene plays more or less the same now. He has a different line there. He says something about uh, something. He questions you be why are you the divine heir? Because you're not. Or why are you the shinobi of the divine heir? Because you're not very good. But then you beat him, and then he's like, "Yeah, well, okay, you beat me, but also I won. So whatever. Still, I beat his ass. <laughs> I'm happy with that." Yeah, got it back. Got all my shit back with it too. So, let me just set these up. Uh, where it is? So much American. Lots of lights. So, lazulite things are the last stage of the upgrade tree for prosthetics. Uh, I still have two left to get, but they require uh, lapis, lapis lazuli, kind of gemstone that I don't have and can't get again. I have to, you only, there's only so many of them in the game. So if you want more, you have to uh, replay the game. So that's what we're doing.
お前さんを見ればその価値は十分にあるというのにね。I'm, uh, I'm not going through for all of that. Again, if you actually want to read what he says,、uh, the first stream has all of that in it. What I'm actually going to do is、uh, I'm going to commune with this idol. And I'm actually going to go back to the main menu. Because、uh, I, uh, I do actually want to. Shit, did I change that? I don't know if I changed that now. I want to change the language to English because I played through the whole game in Japanese and I just want to see what the English is like. So I'm just going to change it back. It won't take long. I hope. Take very long. So, I'm just going to go over some of the stuff that I'm bringing in from New Game Plus just so people are, are up to speed on where I'm at. Uh, I beat all, all of the bosses that were available to me. So, my attack is at. Fuck, what is my attack at? I'll just sit down here and you can see it. My attack power is at 14, so that's kind of giving you an idea. It started at 1, <laughs> so that's 13, 13 bosses, more or less.、Uh, the prayer beads is at 20, it's vitality 20. I found all of them, so that's max. I can't get any higher than it is.、Um, skills. So here are the skills. Skills with the kanji symbols beside them have been unlocked. Skills with the numbers beside them have not been unlocked. And skills with nothing beside them are not available to purchase. So, some of the trophies are to get all of these, the ones that I don't have. So, you can take a look. Anyone who's played the game should know what some of these are. Some of them are more useful than others. This one is this tree is complete.、Uh, this tree is not complete. And this is a special tree that、uh, you only get if you've unlocked the entirety of one of them. So, I've un unlocked all of the Ashina arts. It's probably the smallest tree. Arguably, this one's a bit smaller, but some of the stuff in here is very expensive. And that unlocks this, that gives you super extra mega stuff. But I can't even do this one because I'm missing an item that didn't carry over into New Game Plus.、And、these are all done. Sorry, this is a menu item you may not be familiar with.、Uh, there are mask pieces. Uh, spread out in the game that you can buy or collect in various ways, and once you find all the mask pieces, you are able to enhance attack power beyond what you would normally get from bosses.、Uh, you can trade in five skill points and get an extra attack power. The thing is, it's kind of sort of capped when you hit 19, which is like all the bosses, I think. Some items, got the healing gourds, there's 10 of them, that's as many as you can get. So I found all the upgrades for that. Ceremonial Tanto is something you get for beating one of the ghosts, it just gives you more spirit emblems. All the other gourds, that's the poison gourd, that's the burn gourd, that's the terror one. One ghost spirit fall is something you get for killing、uh, one of the headless. I only fought one of them, but what it basically does is instead of having to use sugars, Uh, you can use spirit emblems and you get the same effect. So, Ungo Sugar and Ungo Spirit Fall do the same thing, they just have different resources attached to them. Divine Confetti, Hidden Tooth. I don't remember how you get this, but it, it's basically uh, uh, an infinite one of these, these bite down medicines, which kills you. It's a fake death. And, and lots of money, but I don't really have anything to spend it on. So, that's where we're at. There's the, the dragon mask, so it's three pieces. Dragon's tally board is something you get later in the game that just opens up the shops. To, they just start selling better stuff.、Uh, lots of different anti air death blow. I think I use it a grand total of once in the whole game because it's very rare for you to get it. This is a really cool move. 
that very rarely hits anybody. There's all the prayer necklaces. There's all the boss remnants. So again, if you were expecting not to get spoiled, uh, my apologies, because it's gonna happen. Okay, is Hanbei here? He is, okay. So, again, spoilers, but you can kill Hanbei, even though he's supposed to be immortal, you can kill him. Alright, English. You the look of a skilled shinobi. A shinobi. Or perhaps. Hmm. Sir, please heed my humble request to face me in battle. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> That was a weird get-up. Still alive. <coughs> that swordsmanship. It was a thing to behold. Few have managed to kill me in such a thorough manner. But I mean, some call it undying. Others infested. I can't die, so I'm just a man. What about you? What brings you to a down temple like this. Hmm. <laughs> Seems you have a lot on your mind. Say, why don't you use me for some sword practice? It might come in handy for whatever your mission is. The warm body that can't die might prove useful to you. I'll volunteer mine. Well, very well. Right then. Let's go. They say swinging one sword is a cure for boredom. I'll do this off stream because it's already in the first stream. To try out. I'm at your Plus, I already know how to do all this, so I'll do that. I'll do that once we go. Once we go offline, I'll just come back and do that and just progress it. So that prompt there was just telling me that. Uh, there's another tutorial available, but I, I know how to do it, it's fine. You're not going to get very far if you don't. The Mikiri counter. This is a shortcut for later in the game. We can't open it just yet, so I'm not going to bother. Alright, time to Sekiro! Da -da. Very nice. So that's where we're going. It's gonna take a while, but that's where we're going. So I am somewhat curious what the differences for New Game Plus are. I wonder if having Kuro's charm just negates all of them. And I actually know this area pretty well because I used it for farming very early in the game. Now you might think like grinding and farming for Sekiro it doesn't really work the same way as Dark Souls in that it only lets you upgrade skills or unlock skills. But um, that shit. So that skill is what you get for beating the final boss. It's a it's it's a skill he uses on you. So you make a big shockwave, and then there's a charged version of it, which has a secondary effect. So it's it's quite nice, but it costs spirit emblems to use. I've actually used half of my spirit emblems at that at this point. Shit, <laughs> missed the jump. All right, there he is. I don't really need to stealth all these guys. I mean, I can kill them in like one strike at this point. But whatever, it's fun and it's somewhat faster.
Alright, got them all. Now I have to pick up all the items. <laughs> the sugars are like, they temporarily give you better vitality or better posture or better uh, attack or they help you resist attacks better and so on. I never used them. <laughs> I think I used one just to see what it did. Because it was a little bit uh, not clear from this description, but they don't really do much. What I am worried about is going through New Game Plus and um, just ignoring areas and forgetting that there are actually items in them. I obviously got them the first time and then any time I came back through this area I didn't have to get them again so I didn't bother looking for anything. gonna go kill this uh, experienced chicken so <laughs> anytime I was a little bit short on experience I would go kill that chicken and, <laughs> and eat uh, he'd give me a bit more so I started calling him the experienced chicken poor doggos that's right that's right I parried the dog what about it? Other thing about dogs is one shuriken will also kill them. So they're not really much to worry about. Okay, so this is where you pick up the shuriken. But uh, that item isn't there anymore. Actually, I want to set up my quick items because they're wrong. Um, pellet. Idol. Jar. Uh, I think I will actually put the Tanto. I usually leave the middle spot blank. For, I don't know, it's a, which is a weird thing I do. But. All right, can we see him? Get a better shot out of him. Go out here and get a better shot of him. Well, that didn't work. <laughs> I was trying to grab this. All right. All right, we can get a better shot of him now. I'm sure you can see him now, but here's our first obstacle. We can completely bypass him now in New Game Plus. Um, he doesn't give us anything, but I'm somewhat curious as to what he does drop now. Normally he drops a prayer bead, but uh, he doesn't do that anymore because I have all the prayer beads. There's a spot here to drop down to. It's close. That gives you back uh, resurrection powers. Uh, which we don't have actually, they haven't unlocked. Uh, they don't unlock until you die. Okay, I actually want to go back to uh, where I was, so... So the Homeward Idol uh, acts like, if you've played Dark Souls, it acts like uh, the Homeward Bone. Or the Bold Hunter's Mark, if you've played Bloodborne, same thing. Okay, we're back. All right, let's give this guy a go. Now, he gave me a lot of trouble. And again, you can watch that. He's on the stream. He still 
a lot of damage. exactly a gimme but good enough yeah a heavy coin purse will give you 500 gold so decent although again I don't have that much to buy anymore it's just the upgrades which I can't actually buy for the, the rest of the game so maybe a minute and yeah, he's not a gimme, that's for sure. Like that one attack did half my health. Which are kind of strange, because... I kind of feel like those enemies, they must do... And bosses as well, they must do... Um, what's he called? Shit. <laughs> they must do... Percentage damage. As in, he just does that attack, does 50% of your health bar, regardless of how big it is. I think some of the bosses have it as well. It just does 90% of your health bar. Doesn't matter how big your health bar is. Which I guess evens it out if people just skip the mini bosses, but should it? <laughs> I don't even think that's fair for people who put the effort in to beat all the mini bosses. They should kind of get something out of it. Damn these Ah, fuck it. Right, so I'm not particularly worried about him. There's just there's a big chunky boy around here somewhere. And I'd rather stealth him if I could, because I don't want to fight him properly. Is he here? There he is. You can see his big ass. Can avoid fighting him. He's kind of a he's kind of a jerk. <laughs> Should really push my luck there. It's four guys. Uh, well, this is gonna go very badly. Ow! 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 Resurrection works, believe me, I died enough. everybody so we can go look for items was there anything up here no I know there's a cave drop around here somewhere I forget where it is though is it down here
think I, I think I did the one that I'm thinking of, and there's one before that that I missed. Whatever, we'll go look for it in a minute. Jerk, go to big cannon. Oh, thanks. Got some gunpowder, that's some upgrade material. It's cool, nobody saw me, it's fine. So one restriction on the blood smoke attack uh, is that uh, it has to be a uh, back uh, backstab. Doesn't work on front-facing enemies or enemies you drop onto. Doesn't work on them either. What's up, old lady? Is that you, Inosuke? My son, have you seen the young master? I am not your son. There you go again, Inosuke. You always teeth about getting senile, but a mother knows her own son. Hmm. Well, anyway, take this bed. <laughs> her mouth is actually moving. It's kind of a it's kind of a first for FromSoft. Offer it to Buddha for his sake. Uh. Okay, you got it. Okay, that's kind of an important item, so uh, we'll deal with it when we get there, though. Alright, I did it. Sir, the man from before, right? That's me. get everything in this area. Yes, I believe I did. Boing. Whoops. <laughs> Don't jump too far. Alright. So there's stuff over there, so I'll go that way. Going this way just uh, gives us a second entrance into the little fort ahead of us. Possession balloons. Don't know what they do. Now, this is important. That's a big snake skin. It belongs to a big snake, as you might imagine. Big snake is not dead. It's very much alive. And it's waiting to kick my ass. Hmm. 
weird. We go that way. Or we could go that way. I think this just brings us back to where we were. <laughs> Sick. Let's not do that again. bit that leads to a headless that uh, I'm not particularly sure I want to fight just yet. I'll fight him later. Can I get that? I doubt it. Seems a bit too far. So our next obstacle is that dude. Certainly seemed easy enough the last time I fought him, so we'll find out. Thank you, experienced chicken. from home. It was a prime opportunity. Then we started a fire and cleaned out the place. That there's when I met you. You were looking for something. At least that's what it looked like to me. Well, that's all I know about that night. I see. Yeah. Uh, that uh, look you're making now. <laughs> you had that same look on your face that night. Are you still looking for something? Are we all? Listen, <laughs> good sir. For a price, I might be able to tell you some other tidbits you find useful. Now, for a price, of course. Mm. A merchant now, you know, sir. Mm. I'll buy some information. Thank you very much for your patronage. Mm. Since you're a shinobi, I'll give you some information about shinobi tools, if you could. I've seen this tube, a tube with fire blasting out of it. Huh? When we broke into the Harata estate, one of my pals nabbed one. That's, that's the sound the fire makes when it blasts out. I have one. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you then. What? I said I already have one. Huh? Oh. Oh. Well, that's a shame. <laughs> 
one's on me. I'll procure some goods with the coin. Look forward to. Alright, so he'll go off and buy and get some inventory next time we see him. Alright, so he said use fire, right? I got fire. Open spear dude wouldn't see me. Got all the WWE skills. careful of that kick, it actually can send you flying if you're not careful. Ah, he got me, fuck. Ah, what? Alright, I'm actually dead now. Heavy coin purses are just is what they drop now. Instead of prayer beads. small uh, kind of 
small area in here behind that wall that uh, takes a bit of takes a bit of doing to get to it. I'll figure out a way. I'm heading back this way for a second because there's some stuff I think I missed. Bodies. That's why there was a spirit emblem there. It's a bit grim, but there you go. This guy. This is the guy I missed. The guy in the tent. say that Buy an offering. Right. do you actually have anything that I need that's good so you get their full inventory right from the start so divine confetti is actually kind of hard to find but um, they just sell us there's no number like there's a number here for ungo sugars means he only has two but he has an infinite number of this and divine confetti is very useful later for particular enemies but he doesn't have anything important. His important item was this, the firecrackers, which I already have. Where you find the departed, you will find the memorial mob, just like the crows. Wherever your travels take you, make sure you bring some offerings with you. And I apparently missed this item also. No thanks. I'm not making that mistake again. It's fine. They won't follow me down here. Kill cannon jerk again, just because. Because he's here and I don't like him. Okay, so there's a couple of things we can do while we're here. Progress further, but I just don't remember where the next sculptor's idol is. That's where you get the monocular, and I have two now. Divine grass. What normally drops there? Divine Grass is like a super healing item, but it's uh, it doesn't replenish like the Gourd. The Gourd is the better item, obviously. There's another problem down there. You gotta get rid of all his friends first. And he has many friends. You might be able to see him, but there's a guy here who alerts everybody if he spots you there he is jackass he's got a big pot and a big stick he bangs the pot with his big stick and everybody hears it and then everybody goes looking for you and it's a bad day for everybody. I 
I don't want to alert too many guys, because if I do, I'll alert the big dude, and I want to get a stealth kill in on him. Or a stealth attack in on him, rather. I won't get a stealth kill in on him, he's got two pips. Turn around, you jerk. Now, let him get a bit further away, because he's still close enough that he'll hear this. game uh, I'd be a little bit worried because I'm sitting on a lot of money um, but as I've mentioned already I don't really need the money anymore so I don't particularly care and while I still have skills to unlock uh, I'm quite confident I'll get enough skills on this playthrough to unlock all of them skill points rather Okay, so there's that guy. Alright, he seems to just be one dude left, so I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna get him with a blood smoke. Fuck! Ah, shit. Oh, fuck it. I guess we're fighting normally then. So if he gets that move off, he gets a fairly sizable amount of his posture back. So we don't want that happening. Could have gone better, but whatever. I didn't die. Heavy coin purse. Okay, did I get everybody? Looks like it. Turn back if you value your life. You can't behead the headless. Fair. Swords and pikes did nothing. 
So that's alluding to an enemy type that is near in the next area. He is optional. They're all optional. All the headlesses. You don't have to fight any of them, which is good because they're kind of tough. Uh, they count as an apparition or kind of ghost type enemy, which means you need to have some kind of divine item to attack them. So divine confetti is probably the best one, but it's consumable. You know, you can run out of them. Uh, the other one you can do is the umbrella. So one of the umbrella types, this one, the Phoenix's lilac umbrella has a special that is the wrong one. It has a special that if you do an attack out of it, gives you the same uh, divine attacking buff. So you can try to use the two of them in combination. I'm not going to fight this headless right now. I will come back for him later. Mostly because I'm not. I don't really have a proper strategy for fighting them. I fought one, and it went okay. There he is down there. And he can stay down there. The real reason we came over here was to get to that area I pointed out earlier. In there, that spot. This is the way to get to it. We have to go a very roundabout way. Go all the way around the mountain. Around the castle to make your way out here. There are some geckos. Fun fact about geckos, you can jumping death blow them. No problems. Some people just slash at them, which you can do, and it works fine. But when you're in death blow mode, uh, you're invincible. So I kind of prefer to do that, even though it takes a little bit longer. But I avoid getting hit by any of their poison shit. That's it out. Grass. And we got ourselves a little shortcut. Although not really, because we never have any uh, particular reason. To go back to that, I'm playing too many games, pressing the wrong buttons. Anyway, we're back to here. Here's where we want to go, so the bridge is unfortunately out. But this area leads directly up into the castle, but we can't get there. Because <laughs> as good as the Shinobi prosthetic is, it's not good enough to jump that gap. So we gotta find a new way, a new way over, which is this way. I can hear a gecko. Where is he? There he is. Dick. Waiting to drop on me when I get this item, huh? I know what you're up to. Cool. Okay. So we gotta find a way around the bridge. And the way around the bridge is to go through this valley and end up over there. But there's a problem with this valley. There's a very big problem with this valley. Because this valley... There he is. Hello, Mr. Snake. Apparently, he can't see me. Go, 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 go. <laughs> <laughs> I 
he's, he doesn't like me very much. He doesn't like me being here. So, the thing about the snake boss, I actually don't know how to beat him properly. I've only ever sort of stumbled my way through the solution. So, bear with me while I completely screw this up. What we're trying to do is to get to that palanquin. I don't know if you can see it, because the snake's head is in the way, but that's what we're trying to get to. Get in here. We'll wait for him to have a little looky see. Looky see, how's it going? Very quickly get this item. Give me it. Let me get the hell out of here. Go, go, go. You can actually get pretty far into that tunnel, so don't st don't stop at the entrance because you can get a little further in. Some people I think miss. Uh, and I also don't think you can stealth them. I'm not sure. Damn it. I actually probably could have, I just moved too fast. Uh huh. The herb catalog scrap just tells you what snap seeds do. Snap seeds are used to um, banish illusions. You make this, you make the snap with the snap seed, and the illusions go away. Sorry, bro. She'll be joining your horse, so don't worry about it. Fist full of ass. Okay. Crap. 
chunk star saw me. Actually, a lot of people saw me. <laughs> Let's, let's, let's back that ass up for a minute. Let's just let some people forget that I'm here. I really can't deal with a spear and a chunky and whatever the third guy was. I don't think it even matters. Kill this guy. Damn it. Too fast. Oh. This guy follow me all the way down here. Would you look at the enemy, please? That's why you get that upgrade. Yeah, it's fine. I mean, I startled a lot of people, sure. I wouldn't win ghost mode. Could have gone better. And this isn't a half bad um, farming area either. For er, very early in the game, quickly overshadowed by other places, but it's decent enough at the beginning. This door is locked. Is. We managed to drive them back once, but the interior ministry's army is far too powerful. And that is why we wish to use the power of my blood. It doesn't matter how much power you obtain. We keep on fighting until you will not care. Be capable of feeling pain or fear. I do not wish to. Hmm. Hmm. So, this is a boss fight. I do have a decent amount of money, although, as I said earlier, I don't actually need it. I'm not too confident with him because I kind of, as I said earlier in some other places, I sort of bumbled my way through the fight. So I have the wrong um, prosthetic. See how it goes. Oof. Well, that didn't work. So the reason I don't like fighting this guy, uh, the camera is not your friend.
But if you have the skill... Yeah, this fume one might be the best. So one cool thing... Uh, From Software made um, the Tenchu series. Shit. This is why I don't like the camera. Sorry, I'll get back to Tenchu in a minute. Hate the camera. Ah, get up. It has the same problem that a lot of the big um, a lot of the big Dark Souls bosses have, in that if you end up right underneath them, the camera doesn't know what to do, and you just end up getting hit. A lot. disappears too, but there you go. Wait, do I get to use this again? That's a bit mental if I do. Right, Tenchu, <laughs> as I was saying. They made the Tenchu series. Uh, Gyobu's horse is called Onikage. Onikage is a major villain of the Tenchu series, so I'm wondering if, you know, it's a throwback or if it's not <laughs> uh, Onikage is also a kind of generic just means demon shadow or shadow demon so you know it mightn't be it might just be a generic title yeah you can just use these again shit give me some more attack power Gyobu Oniwa once led a group of infamous bandits, but was defeated by Ishin. He was so captivated by his show of strength that he took him in as an Ashina warrior. Oniwa would later go on to become Genichiro Ashina's most trusted retainer. Cool. Now I have even more attack power. Unstoppable. There's actually a, a kind of glitch or a trick uh, if you're having trouble with him is to try to get him and bait him to come in here in this area this little small alcove here uh, he has trouble getting out it's not that he can't get out he just has a lot of trouble getting out but if you can manage to get him to stay there and then you jump this you jump all the way up this tower which is not an easy jump but you can do it you take a run at it and you take a couple of side jumps and you get up to the top and then you jump and you get up there and then you jump, I'm not going to do this because it kind of breaks the game, but then you jump all the way over there, you need to take a running jump, and, uh, well, it's a very hard jump, but you have to jump as you fall off the thing, grab that ledge, then walk all the way over there, uh, and then don't, don't dive bomb him, what you do is you just stay on the corner, here, stay on the corner of the, of the, of the building, and he will try to attack you, and he will fall off this cliff. And he'll die. You know, if you want, if you want to be cheesy, that's one way to do it. He's not a very hard boss, so I wouldn't bother. But if he if he is giving you trouble, that's one way to deal with him. Huh? Happened to you? And you? Oh dear. There's a lot of dead dudes in here. Mm. 
He's a tall dude. But those eyes, the starving wolf. Before I kill you, tell me your name. Tell me your name! <laughs> no name to give. You should know me all the same. You die nameless. No one to mourn you. However, your left arm, a prosthetic shinobi arm. Reminds me of <laughs> That's it. A one arm. I like it. Which means Sekiro. That is what I should name you. Who mm -hmm. are you? <laughs> I am the Tengu of Ashina. Come, Sekiro. Care to hunt some rats with me? What? Rats have snuck into Ashina. Scurrying about like they own the place. There are all kinds of rats out there, and they must be cut down. Every last one of them. It seems you have a talent for killing. Allow me to help you hone that talent. What'll it be, sir? Will you hunt rats with me? Yeah. Very well. Excellent. You'll need this if you're with me, sir. <laughs> A description of the rats that have snuck into Ashina. I'm going to start reading these because we've gone past where I stopped the first stream. Speak to the Tengu again once the rats are dealt with. The rats. Assassins from Senpo Temple. Short statue. Wear bamboo hats. A number of rats are lurking about last seen around Ashina Castle Gate. So they're the pot ninjas. That's what I call them. <laughs> the face of a rat. And where it makes its home. Go and kill it. If you do, I will give you something that will aid you in battle. Sounds good. You can always do what battle aids. So, you probably worked out where this door opens out into. This is the little fort area where the big chunky dude and the gunner and the guy was. And that guy's back. Anyway, that's a shortcut. There's an old woman here. You do an old woman. Oh, you survived. Sure did. That accursed Yobu's finally a corpse, I take it. That changes nothing, you know. There'll be more wars, there'll be more corpses, and deep seated hatred will run wild. Where's all that hatred go? Haven't you ever wondered? No, because it's not a physical thing. Yes. Yes, you haven't. That's why I pity you. And I pity you. Who's him? Now, be gone already. There's no end to war, no matter what this old hat says. Your duties will never change either. That's just how it is. Okay. So she's actually alluding to uh, a boss that's very close to the end of the game, which we might skip. Because <laughs> he's kind of hard. Mm -hmm. Making our way all the way up to the top of this tower because there's some stuff here. Well, there was. Now, this chest is still here. Now, if this chest had a prayer bead in it. What does it have now? Uh, uh, I actually would have preferred money. <laughs> I never used those things. The Jizo statues give you back some resurrective power, but um, I've never really felt the need to use them. So. Another mob guy. Care to purchase an offering? Another one. Where you find the departing, you'll find the memorial mob. A battlefield is our paradise. Go ahead. Buy an offering. Mm -hmm. 
I think I'll just buy um, coin purses. So what these are for, coin purses, uh, they act like uh, soul repositories in Dark Souls, or blood clots, or whatever you call them, cold blood Jews in Bloodborne, in that they hold souls, or they hold money in this case uh, and when you die in Sekiro you lose money instead of losing souls you, uh, you your money gets cut in half but if you have these gold coin pouches you don't lose any of that money you idiot so so these guys are uh, the interior ministries ninjas it's their shinobi they're very blurry I didn't even know you could zoom with this thing. <laughs> you learn, you're learning something new in New Game Plus. Okay, so what we're going to do is... Um, I'll, I'll do that quest. This purple fume thing, uh, why I did, why I used it in the first place, is because if it hits somebody uh, right at the bottom, enemies blinded by the blast take slightly more vitality and posture damage, so it gives them a debuff. But the problem with it is it's super delayed. I probably should have been better off going on with this one because it just lasts a bit longer. But oh well. I'm gonna go back to the stuff I normally use, except for this time I'm gonna use, I'll show you this actually, the sparking axe, it's pretty cool. And let's put the firecrackers back on, this one. So, the rats that he's talking about are these guys. Hmm. So, a couple of things there. Kinichiro is helping these guys, which isn't great. This guy's stationed here to uh, get the jump on you when you try to go after those guys. Uh, and they mentioned Black Hat Badger, who is one of these pot ninja dudes, but he's a rogue pot ninja. Uh, and he becomes a merchant if you help him out. So that's what we're going to do. Now I could blood smoke these guys uh, and get a stealth kill onto them, but I actually want to show you what the axe does to these guys because it's particularly useful against them. God damn it. Well, fuck it. It uh, splits their hat. So that's quite useful. It also has a follow-up second attack that <laughs> he wasn't ready for. So that's one of the upgrades. One of the upgrades turns the axe into a fire axe, but it also lets you do a second attack with the axe again. So that's pretty good. Drop the pellet. Cheers. The axe is pretty good. Uh, it's one of the earliest shinobis that you pick up. At this point in the game, we would have firecrackers and uh, the shuriken. So that sneaky way to fight 
uh, Gyobu was you climb up onto the top of that and jump land on this ledge you have to grab it you won't make a big enough jump to actually jump it and then you come all the way around here you jump up this da -da -da, and then you chill out on this corner he'll be down here flailing and he'll eventually do something and he'll just jump off the cliff <laughs> and that's the end of him that's one way to get rid of the horse let's go back to talk to the Tengu I'm somewhat curious about what he'll give us now he'll probably just give us the same thing uh, he gives you a skill textbook the first or one of the first it's possible you'll get a different one before getting this one He just gives you that. That's fine. A compendium of the Ashina sword style allows one to learn Ashina style skills. The text reads like a history of Ishin Ashina's battles. When young, Ishin fought desperately time and time again, polishing his technique in the blood of his enemies. He consolidated his learnings under the Ashina style, named for the sake of his clan's dominance. Jesus. Uh, there's a, I need a comma in there somewhere. The ways of the Ashina blade. It's our school of fighting. But there are no hard win your battles. That alone is the most important rule of the Ashina style. <laughs> that's, that's a fairly basic rule of combat, win. But most of all, your own battles you give to fight. Okay, so the fact that it's grayed out probably means that I didn't actually get it. So we're going to go back to, no way I did that, we're going to go back to the temple because there's some just a couple of things that we have to do there. So the Ashina skills, I'll just show you them now because it's the actually it's the one that I've finished. So you start with this. It's called Ichimonji. You just do one very strong downward strike. You've got a fast version of it, which is already quite slow, and then you've got the really strong, really slow version of it. But it does do a ton of damage. Even if they block it, it does a ton of posture damage to them. Then you've got the double version, Ichimonji double, which is two. And similarly, it does a long one. But the second one is always fast. And then the last one, which is actually really good, is the Ashina Cross. And, it, and you know you know they're good when they actually cost Spirit Emblems to use. That's how you know they're good. So holding R1 puts your sword into a sheath and you can just let go of L1 and take it back out. Or if you let go of R1, you do that. It's two very fast attacks, and even if they block the first one, the second one will probably hit them. And you can chain it by just pressing R1, and you'll keep doing it. If you press and hold R1, you'll stay back into that stance, and then let go of L1, and you can take it back in again. So that's pretty good. That's the Ashina style. That's this tree. This tree. So, you have Ichimonji, which is the first thing. Then these are two buffs for helping you keep your posture, kind of doing deflections and things. Uh, these are more, that's for killing people. That's the one that gives you health back. No, sorry, that's the one that gives you posture back. This reduces the amount of damage you take, your posture damage. This is Ichimonji double. That's Ashina Cross. And then Ashina Cross chains into something. Oh, we don't know what it is yet. Oh, rather, I know what it is, but I didn't have enough points to unlock it at the time.
Hello, madam. You truly returned from the dead. The power of the dragon's blood. I never thought I'd see it with my own eyes. Who are you? My name is Emma. I am a doctor serving a certain master. What master? Forgive me, but for his safety, I cannot reveal his identity. However, my master gave explicit orders to assist you in any way I can. I'm not telling you to trust me. Well, good, because I don't. I must fulfill my master's orders. The gourd of medicinal water you possess, that was originally a creation of mine. I am a doctor, and I will assist you in that capacity. Fair enough. You made this gourd? Yes. It was intended for Lord Kuro, but it seems he entrusted it to you. I'm sure you may have noticed, but the medicinal waters in this gourd spring forth on their own. Even after being emptied, you will find it full again after a short rest. Yes. Is there a way to improve it? Bring me gourd seeds. I have them. I've brought you ten. Oh, I didn't bring you ten. I brought you seven. From gourd seeds, adding new seeds will increase the volume of these medicinal waters. If you find any, bring them to me. All right. <laughs> Can't be great. Did I hear the ringing of a chime? It was probably this bell. I was told to offer it to Buddha. Does the bell hold any significance for you? If it does, talk to the sculptor. He is quite knowledgeable when it comes to Buddha. So, kind of interesting. You mightn't be able to see it on the stream. Uh, Emma has uh, a red clothes and a pink top. Uh, I normally play this game on 4K HDR, and I didn't know that. Because there's something up with the game's HDR encoding. But anyway. I can hear the ring ring of a bell chime. You mean this old bell? An old woman was going to offer it to Buddha. That bell. Have you seen it before? No. It was unfamiliar. It appears the bell disagrees. I think it's trying to tell you something. What? Give it as an offering. The kind-faced Buddha near the wall is different from the Buddhas I make. It was carved by the hand of the Chung sculptor. Right. Uh, so I have all, almost all of them. The only ones I'm missing are these two. And they require a lapis lazuli. Lazuli, I don't know how you pronounce that. Uh, which you can only get very late in the game. So we're going to have to play the whole game anyway to get there. Uh, and then a couple of other adamantine, fulminated mercury, grave wax, yellow gunpowder, and so on. They're all also kind of mid to late game stuff, so yes. it's going to take a minute. That kind faced Buddha you see over there, don't do anything funny with it. All right. So, since everyone keeps mentioning this, maybe we should do something. Close your eyes. Hear the bell speak to you. Going back in time. Or the console has died. No, okay. <laughs> Three years ago. So this is an event that keeps getting referred to that Sekiro doesn't remember. So we're going to relive it.
said, we're actually going to relive it uh, next time <laughs> on, on Foley streams, uh, which will be tomorrow at some stage. So the plan is uh, more or less to play through Sekiro on New Game Plus. Uh, I'll put all the stream parts will be up on Twitch. Uh, they'll be on VOD, Video Demand, they'll be on Twitch, and then YouTube Archives if you happen to miss any of them, they'll also be there too. The plan is to play through the whole thing, try to do basically everything. Um, Spoiler-wise, I still have the, the evil ending to get the two bosses that are attached to that evil ending and then a couple of uh, clean up things like the the shinobi prosthetics i need to get the rest of those and the skills i need to unlock all of them and then i'll have to plant them that's my plan uh and it will require me to get very late in the game anyway to do it so i might as well play all the way through it i have beaten the game before so i know i can do it which is good it's always it's always a risk I take when I start a new game, and try to play it on on Twitch or try to play it as an LP, and I've never played it before. I know, having like the, the, the genuine reaction of somebody for the first time they've played something is good, but not when it's a game that you're not sure you can actually finish. So, anyway, that's the plan. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, if you're watching this on Twitch, uh, thanks for watching it right now. <laughs> and if you're watching this on YouTube also, thanks for watching. Uh, a reminder, if you are watching this on YouTube, that you can find it live on Twitch, twitch.tv slash doomtrain5. It's there, beside my face. One of these. Um, yeah. Anyway, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hopefully more Sekiro, and hopefully starting another playthrough of um, Darksiders, the first one. That's the plan. <laughs>